And Kelton, something which amazed me is the moment you watch Luke Shaw in certain positions, be it in the first half or the second half, you scream cheat. And I was like trying to figure out what you meant by that. Is he a con artist on the, on the football field? Well, well, put it this way. What, what I don't like, we all sign our contracts, right? Mm. We get paid an awful lot of money. Supporters come and watch the game. Regardless of whether you, what your feeling is about the manager, you go out there and do the best that you can do. I looked at Luke Shaw today, and for me, I use the word cheat. And to use that against a professional footballer, as Gail will tell you, is a no-no. But if I was in that dressing room, I don't care about Jose Mourinho. The only person for me on the Man, yeah. Man United side who, who played like he cared today was Ashley Young. You go and close people down, you go and play, and, and, and you sort out what the issues are. Let the board sort out what's got to do. But there was no urgency about them. It was flat. And Luke Shaw, he, he, he is, you know, people would say, well, Jose Mourinho's criticised him and criticised him since the day he's been there. Well, A, he's not been fit since he's been there. He's been overweight. And, he, and, and on the basis of that, you'd say, well, he should be criticised. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Luke Shaw had that horrific injury, which he's had to overcome. But, but you know, I, I don't think it's a case of players deliberately not giving their all. But when you do get shall I say, picked on, which Luke Shaw has been, in my opinion, by Mourinho, it kind of takes you down and it takes you down. You know, Pogba's been taken down a peg or two because this week he's been told by his manager he, he's not good enough or he's not captain material for Manchester United. So, so what does that do to your confidence? Does that lift you or does that drop you? Well, well, I, well you. I've, got to, I've got to be honest with you. If you remember when uh, uh, Jose took out, uh, uh, over at Real Madrid, mm. did the same to Ronaldo. And Ronaldo responded brilliantly. Yeah. He didn't. He, he, Mourinho told him, "You are not going to play in my team unless you track back." He publicly humiliated Ronaldo, and Ronaldo reacted in the way that he mm. that you should do if you're a top player. I, for me, I think that all this debate about Pogba, you ca today he's had a poor game. He's going to have a poor game because the position he's played in, the, he. he he can't do that, being asked well, to track back yeah. forward. Well, the United team didn't function well, so it's hard to function even as a highly talented player that Pogba is within yeah. that formation. But, but or, bottom or that line, team. when the players don't perform and the performance happens, bottom line, the book has to stop with the manager. Mm. That is it. He has to take the responsibility for that performance. He's clearly changed the system in three days, like Gal made the point at the start. It, they've gone to three centre backs. They've played somebody in the back three that's not a defender. They did not know what their jobs were. And in a, in a game that they could have easily have won. Yeah. And, 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 and Stan's just come in and, and, and Stan's right. You, you change the manager and you could see that team easily um, getting results. Uh, he's referring to Stan Colomo who will be joining our coverage very soon.